Well, good afternoon, everyone. And you find me today at Tahiti National Park in Cornwall. That's right, I've done a double back. Well, that was pretty special. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're red or grey. They look like a hybrid, I'll be quite honest. It hasn't got the big bushy tails and the pointy ears, but that was nice. Very friendly. <sighs> Only trouble is, I farted around with the squirrel so much, I'm running out of light in the woods. <laughs> well, looks like the weather's closed in now. It's absolutely bucketing down. I'm trying to take some shelter under the trees and I've got a waterproof coat on. Well, they say the best conditions come after a rainstorm for photography. I should be getting some blinders then because I absolutely hammered down. I think that was geese. So right now I should be in the Lake District trying to get the autumn colour. I've done a couple of trips up in the little car but they only have been brief for pop up to easy locations sort of thing. At the moment until I get the van back that's all I've got. So this is basically a country estate walk. Well, it is actually a country estate, I believe. Uh, but there is some uh, nice little small oaks because we're right by the coast. And I was hoping that I'd get some colour here for them. But uh, it's not quite hit down here. It's blazing colour up in the Lake District, I know, but not quite down here. There's the odd flash of yellow, but still a lot of green. And we're coming to the end of October. Well, I came all this way to shoot autumn colours and there is so many red squirrels here. All I've done is shoot red squirrels. No autumn colour. Maybe I'll just settle for the squirrels. I think I'll just keep walking. And if I do see something, then change of tack. I'll just shoot whatever I see and I like. Well, had a little bit of a wander around. Just couldn't get anything to work. Yeah, I think I'm uh, still clutching the straws. There's no point in taking crap photos just to be disappointed and spending an hour trying to edit them to make something of it. It's just a pointless exercise. So, move on.
Well, that's officially freaky. I'm out of here. Well, the rain's set in and it's getting dark. And the wind is a bit eerie, very eerie. Mm. I think we should go. Kind of a little bit lost and just following the trail to be honest. So. Hmm. It is getting rather spooky and quiet. Apart from the odd, like, uh, snap of a branch. No, no, no. It's very eerie, I'll be quite honest. You keep hearing things. It's paranoia. It's just paranoia. Sets in, doesn't it? You're in the middle of a shady woodland. Guys, my pocket's gone flat. Check this out. I don't know what I've walked into. It's like weird laundry and stuff everywhere. It's like someone's living here. Oh man. The, the lights have come on. This is some freaky, I mean freaky, freaky deaky stuff. Maybe it's paranoia, but you get that sense that something's behind you all the time. This is really freaking me out now. If I, honestly, <laughs> I seen Blair Witch. If guys, if if I if I don't come back, I hope somebody finds this recording. I really do. 